Hello kids! Welcome to another day of our online class. I am Teacher Frel, your teacher in Arts 2, Week 7 and 8, Quarter 2. Our lesson for today is about painting tools and techniques, designing an outline of a tricycle or jeepney. Objective Uses control of the painting tools and materials to paint the different lines, shapes, and colors in his work or in group work. Design an outline of a tricycle or jeepney on a big paper with lines and shapes that shows repetition, contrast, and rhythm. Here are some tools in painting. Number 1. Painting brush Number 2. Paint Number 3. Painting pads Number 4. Painting knife or palette knife Number 5. Painting palette Number 6. Masking tape Number 7. Sponge Number 8. Brayer Let's learn about painting techniques. Observe the picture below. What makes each picture different from the other? How are lines and colors used in each picture? How do you feel about each picture? As you can see, the texture of the first picture is smooth, while the texture of the second picture is rough. And the texture of the third picture is also rough. The color of the first picture is bright color. While the second picture is in medium color. And the third picture is black and white. They are different in texture and color. Texture is the way a surface feels and looks like. It shows the smoothness and roughness of objects. Using various techniques in painting helps show texture in one's art's work. Upon seeing an artwork, you can easily identify if its surface is smooth or rough with the use of shapes, colors, and texture. Study the following techniques in painting. Pointillism What is pointillism? Pointillism is a technique in painting where small distinct dots of color are applied in patterns to form an image. Next is blending. What is blending? Color blending is a technique where two colors are mixed together to produce a third color. Next is hatching. What is hatching? Hatching is a technique used to create tonal or shading effects by drawing closely spaced parallel and straight lines. And splatter. What is splatter? Splatter painting is a technique of creating art by splattering rather than brushing paint onto the project. Let's take a look again to the different painting techniques. First is pointillism. Kids, observe the picture. What do you observe? Image is formed using dots of color. Next is blending. Observe the picture. Mixing color to produce a third color. Another is hatching. Observe the picture. Image is formed by drawing parallel and straight line. And lastly, splatter. Creating art by splattering rather than brushing. How about you kids? What painting techniques do you like to create? Pointillism? Blending? 
hatching, or splatter. Test to do. In your painting pads, draw and paint our plug using pointillism. Are you ready kids? Get your painting pads and draw the flag and paint our flag using pointillism. You may pause this video to do this task. Now let's learn about Philippine Jeepney. Have you ever experienced riding a jeepney? Jeepneys or jeeps are the most popular means of public transportation in the Philippines. They are known for their colorful decoration which have become a symbol of Philippine culture and art. It is the cheapest way to commute in the Philippines. Its open rear door designs makes passenger pickups and drop-offs easy. A Saro Jeepney was exhibited at the Philippines Pavilion at the 1964 New York World's Fair as a national image for Filipinos. Task to do. Draw and copy the front and side view of Jeepney using your painting pads. Paint a design on the front and body of Jeepney using contrasting colors and variety of lines. You may pause this video to do your task. For the next activity, you're going to draw and copy the tricycle using your painting pads. Paint the tricycle using the blending technique and decorate using a variety of lines and shapes. You may pause this video to do your task. Kids, I hope you've learned a lot about different painting tools and painting techniques. And I hope you do your task in drawing and painting a jeepney and a tricycle. So kids, that is the end of our lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids!